get this thing going. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to our Thursday live stream for She-Hulk episode six, which normally, in, in most circumstances, uh, this would be the finale, right? This would be the season finale of a show um, with the previous Marvel shows, but uh, we're in luck. We uh, Well, for some people, it might feel like a, a chore, right? Because I know a lot of people aren't really digging the show, but I am. I don't, You know, if you guys have been following, I've been enjoying myself. But we are here to talk about this sixth episode, which premiered earlier today. Um, I have seen it two and a half times. I was trying to finish it before I went live, and I got up like another five minutes or so. But we're obviously here to talk about it. We're going to break it down. We're going to discuss it. Uh, you know, talk about what worked, what didn't work. Of course, there's tons of little Easter eggs and little things that we can speculate about that we'll kind of run through the episode and, and talk about what, you know, again, what worked, what didn't work, what we hope to get, so on and so forth. And um, again, we're going to be going, uh, having this discussion with... Um, my partners in crime that will be joining, uh, well, at least one of them. One of them might uh, tune in a little bit later, join in later if, if time allows it. But I will be joined by uh, one of the homies in a little bit. Um, so we're going to get this thing started in a bit. But in the meantime, man, let me know who we got in the chat. We got 10 people coming in. I know 4 o'clock is kind of a weird time. It's kind of the only time I have available on Thursdays uh, for like an hour and a half, two-hour window. So who we got, man? Who we got in the chat? What's up? What's up? What everybody, everyone, say what's up to everyone. Uh, let me know where we're at, what, what we're doing, how we're doing, what we're watching, any new movies we're excited for, TV shows. Of course, we're going to dive into the Marvel stuff here in a bit. But have you all been enjoying um, you know, House of the Dragon, which we talk about here on this channel every Sunday, uh, The Return of Atlanta? Uh, we got some movies in theaters right now, or at least uh, come to theaters, like Don't Worry Darling, which we put a review out for that the other day. So let me know how we're all doing out there on this uh, Thursday, September 22nd. Man, I can't believe I think... Is it officially fall, by the way? I think it's like officially fall now. So, which is my favorite time of the year. The weather's better. The movies come, you know, the movies are a little bit better as far as just kind of that lull that we back half of the summer to get into fall season, especially for your boy horror fan out here. We got some horror films to look forward to, but uh, I'm very, very excited to get into the fall season. What's going on, Kevin? How we doing, man? I uh, Good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon to you, Kevin. I uh, hope you're doing well, man. Hope you got a chance to check out this episode that we'll be breaking down here in a little bit. Um, but since I got you, Kevin, let me know what you've been checking out, bro. What what shows or movies? I know um, we watch a lot of similar shows with um, Marvel and Disney. It was speaking of, have you guys checked out um, Andor? Andor dropped yesterday, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I did get the opportunity to check out the first four episodes, and we got a review on those on the channel now. But let me know if there's any Andor fans out there that watched the first three episodes. What's going on, Dave? Let me know if you guys are enjoying Andor, because I tell you what, y'all, I certainly am. I am certainly enjoying the hell out of Andor. What's going on, L? Uh, and I'm so excited to kind of get a show that's a lot more mature and a little bit more serious than what we've been getting lately. But speaking of serious and speaking of mature, I don't know, that's not a good segue, but I got my man in the back room uh, who is uh, always dropping some great knowledge and great great content to you all on the internet. And he uh, is back joining us this week, and I'm so excited to get his thoughts on this episode and see what he's been up to. Talking about the one and only Chris from Taste Take. What's going on? Oh, man. What up? What, what up, up, man? What How up? we doing? Doing good, man. We made it. Sheesh. Made it, bro. We made it, man. How's the week been doing you? Treating you? Uh, how's the week been going? What's been going on this week? I guess, let's, what do people care about right now? Adam Levine. Oh, the Celtics my goodness. Coach, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> and, uh, I saw that, too. It someone else, right maybe now. the queen, but yeah. That's what's going on, man. I'm just trying to keep up with the, with the, with the streets. Yeah, man, I hear you. I mean, yeah, the, I saw the Adam Levine thing yesterday. I just couldn't couldn't help but to laugh, bro. But uh, Chris, while I fix my light situation, man, why don't you let the people know at home who you are, where they can find you, content. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? My name is Chris Tate. I represent Tate's Take. I do a lot of YouTube videos, TikTok videos, just talk about the content, try to give you a little background on the stuff that's going on, let you know if I think it's worth checking out. So Shout out to you guys if you already know my channel. Check my channel out before ever and subscribe to it. Shout out to y'all. But if you've never heard of me and if you like that kind of thing, just check me out. I'm uh, all my stuff's in the description here. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Do it, do it, Chris. I know you're a big uh, basketball fan. I know you brought up the Boston's coach. Uh, did you see the Ben Simmons? You peaked that uh, the interview yet with JJ? Oh yeah, actually I was. I'm I'm like a quarter of the way through that. That's the I, I got a I got a journey later on tonight. So I'm gonna watch it on the on the train for the rest of it. But I'm a like I hate like I'm not a Ben Simmons fan and I'm not a I hate the Nets, but like I like want him to do well. Like I don't know why. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. I don't, I'm not with the whole like bully 
yeah. bully Ben Simmons. Like even like West, like Westbrook, like that's kind of like they take it too far. It's like yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I hear you. I, I've only seen the clips. I haven't watched the full interview yet, but uh, I know he talked about the Joel Embiid and all that stuff. So, yeah, same with you, man. I don't really – he's a young kid. He's made some silly decisions and whatnot, but I, I'm hopeful that he can uh, get a jump shot and uh, <laughs> develop into yeah. that. He's supposed yeah, to be I mean, There's, there's people in the league I really don't like, but, like, yeah. he's not one of them. He hasn't given hey, me a reason to, to, to do that. Yeah, but. Man, I hear you, man. I hear you. But, Chris, man, uh, before we get into She-Hulk, bro, I know you, uh, you got a chance to see The Woman King, which uh, – I loved, you know, but apparently if you love the film, you're apparently, um, you know, you're not, uh, <laughs> you're, I don't even want to get into, I don't know if you've, if you got into the comment section yet, if those people have hit your, your channel, but uh, what did you think about the film? I know you got a review on the channel, but what'd you think overall? And of course people check out his review uh, on his channel now, but yeah, just briefly. Yeah. The Woman King is fire. What, by the time I watched The Woman King, because Woman King came out Thursday night, I must've saw it Saturday. Mm -hmm. So like the, the controversy wasn't really bubbling up yet. And I and like I was gonna just do a quick, you know, like a TikTok on it just to say, like, yo, check this movie out, it's fire, da da da. But then I started reading like all the real comments and I was like, nah, people are really tight. Yeah. So like yeah, I like man. to fight on the internet. So I was like, I gotta make a video. <laughs> um, but then it just yeah. took me on into this crazy rabbit hole of like understanding the history of the Jehovah right, women right, and the Amazons right. and all that. So like I went yeah. through a deep like 48 hour binge like deep dive into all this mm -hmm. like lupita got a documentary on them i watched her yeah. whole documentary so yeah. my video is like it's a little bit of a review but it's kind of just like i'm addressing the controversy like right. whether the controversy is valid what i think about it i yeah. think everyone should watch the movie i'm not i'm not i'm spoiler i'm i'm, I'm not on team boycott but um a different type of video than i normally do but um still if you if you're interested in hearing some more of the background story of the woman king yeah. and just like what people are saying about it and what my thoughts are is in the that stuff is there i put it i yes, think this sir. morning yeah yeah i, I definitely am gonna watch it later today uh because i was getting everything prepped for the day but yeah i'm gonna definitely check out your review check out his view like you said guys and yeah the woman king is i, I enjoyed the hell out of it chris and i knew about the the history prior to going to the film and uh, you know my viewpoint on all movies is going in and just leaving my baggage and my personal opinions and all that stuff outside and just seeing what the director and the actors and the writers have to give us. And of course, you know, they took uh, creative liberties and whatnot, but Hey, yeah. It's each your own. Uh, again, I just want to plug your, uh, your review on your channel. Cause I know you put that out earlier today, but anything else, man, what else you've been watching, bro? What uh, movies or shows or anything? people Let's see. Excited let's for? see. Let's see. One thing I'm watching now that I'm hella late on is HBO industry. You must've seen this already. But I'm late on that. A coworker of mine told me that industry, industry, industry. I have heard good things about. It. I have not seen it yet. Okay, cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm st I'm still late, but it's like that's a good show. That I've been going through. I, I if you watch my channel, I talk about the extraordinary attorney Wu because I watched the Super Partner track, and Attorney Wu is a as a woman. It's a Korean show, but she's a uh, uh, autistic and she's like a high profile lawyer gotcha. in Korea. So that's a fire show. And then I think there's a third thing. Okay, so well then. I finished rap shit and then now like i'm into the uh, atlanta jersey which i haven't even watched atlanta yet because i'm mm -hmm. still mad at fx for not giving me the screeners but those are those are like my main things i was like yeah. atlanta still of course the last season i gotta watch that it's like one of my favorite shows but yeah those are like that's what i'm into right now i'm trying to think about some of the movies in the theaters i saw the david bowie movie we talked about that last week yep yep um that's a good movie i don't know anything about david bowie so i was like oh i'm here to learn um yeah yo, shout out bernice yeah yeah industry is yeah. fire and and it's I steamy too i like it steamy so i was like yeah this is fire I don't know um, why I, it's HBO. It's kind of in that secession ish vibe with people. It's like a younger drama. Yeah, so, yeah. So I don't know why I haven't. It's two seasons in too. I think so. Yeah, it's two seasons. I'm like yeah. almost done with the first season, so I still yeah. got some ways to go. But I've been, I've been, I've been watching some stuff, man. It's been, it's been interesting. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's that time of the year too to get the uh, the blankets out, the hoodies out. That fall time, man. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm exactly. I gotta watch the horror season. If I have time, I'll try to get to. Uh, don't worry, darling. I'll try to see that this weekend if I have time. Yeah, I, I got a chance to see it uh, the other day. I got a review. Um, and I would say this, man, I've, obviously, as we all know, Florence Pugh can do no wrong. She carries the film, hands down. Uh, Chris Pine is fantastic. He's just not in it enough for me. But mm -hmm. the story is a little, you know, when if you get a chance to see it, you'll, 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 uh, it's a very, so I'm going to rush and see it. You get, yeah, I, I would say, yeah, it's not just drop what you're doing right now and, and, and go check it out. But I would say if you're a Florence Pugh fan and you, you like getting into like kind of mur not murder mystery, but mystery thrillers, paranoia thrillers, then it's, it's something to check out. But it's not again, it's not like yeah, breaking. I think that's 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 the biggest release. I know they're doing Avatar this weekend. That's a re-release, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. might be the, that, that's the biggest release. And I didn't see Barbarian yet. That's that could be in the thing. So mm. 
Yeah, man. We, we like I said, next next few weeks are gonna be kind of dead with the movies, but uh, fall, like I said, Halloween and horror films, and I'm I'm here for it. So we uh, we can definitely expect some good stuff coming soon. But speaking of good stuff, Chris, this episode, bro, um, which was titled, I think just Jen, just Jen, just Jen, just Jen. And Chris, the first question I want to have for you and the audience, and again, shout out to everyone watching live, thumbs up, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Subscribe to my homie's channel. Link is uh, will be in the description of this video. But just initial thoughts from you. Chris, as we open this episode with her getting uh, an invite to a wedding, which I love that she addresses the elephant in the room. She's like, wow, that's kind of random that she's going to a random and uh, to a wedding. And, and she acknowledges that. Yeah, she was talking right to you. She was talking right to us, man. And uh, and I'm glad she did that. Only issue, and then we'll get into your thoughts here for me, Chris, was uh, I wish they would have maybe built up to this wedding, just kind of hinted at it maybe a couple episodes ago that she's nervous to mm -hmm. go to the wedding. She doesn't have a date. The whole She-Hulk persona, confidence lacking. I just wish they would have maybe kind of built it up. But like I said, they addressed it up top that it is kind of convenient or inconvenient and kind of random. But your general thoughts, man, on this sixth episode. Yeah, my first thought that's completely unrelated and possibly completely nonsense is that they need to name one of the episodes the Incredible Hulk. All right, just putting that out there. Then season finale. Second, that's a season finale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Besides that, I didn't care that I didn't know about the the wedding yeah. the, beforehand, especially then she like just addressed it right away. I was like, ugh, she never misses a beat. Yeah. Um, Overall thoughts about the episode? Is that what you ask? Or just yeah, yeah, this general take before we dive deep into this uh very interesting episode. Yeah, I, I feel the exact same way as I felt last week. I think last week I, or whatever last time I talked to you guys, or I, mm -hmm. I did I did last week just at the beginning. Last week, yep. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like this show is executing executing things well. Like it's funny, the acting is not over the top, it's not annoying. The jokes are like much better than maybe any other of the shows, and the actors are just doing it like where they're not trying. Mm -hmm. Again, but again, I'll say. It don't really mean nothing. It's like not really getting me there. I know the end of the episode is a cool little teaser for what could happen. It's yes. starting to be a, 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 a common theme as far as just kind of, you know, just going like through the episode. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then yeah. here's a little something at the mm -hmm. end. Again, no fucking Horror post fans, credit yeah. trailer. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm happy with the performances. I yeah. still do not like Titania. She had that oh, one little man. cool little moment with the freaking pop up shop and all she's that. Selling me, bro. But she's now she's me. back. Now I'm like, this, ugh, what are you doing here? And she, now that you mention it, or you last week you mentioned it, she does look crazy. Like, ugh, like why does she look like this? And then why wouldn't she, we're gonna get into it? We're gonna <laughs> listen, bro. I'm gonna say it right now. We'll definitely get into it. There's not enough of Titania. Yeah, Doc Dave there's, knows. Yeah, yeah, yo, shout out Doc Dave. Yeah, he knows. There's not <laughs> enough of her for me, Chris. Uh, and that's one of my criticisms with the show so far. Is again, um, it's trying to be unconventional, but then they're trying to be conventional with having a villain, but then they don't want to have the villain, and it pops up randomly in the show and we're going to get to that point but all the fight sequences i know the show's supposed to be a satire supposed to be a comedy sitcom get mm -hmm. all that but the fight sequences are just ridiculous bro they're just straight up flat out slapsticks funny they it's, brought us they brought us back to episode one again very much so chris i almost wish that they don't have fights i just wish there was this verbal fighting between those two versus physical fighting because it's just a joke especially when you consider she Hulk, if she punches you in the face, I would imagine that there's a probably some repercussions, teeth falling, bones breaking, but it doesn't. But then when, when she falls on the floor, her teeth, her veneers fall out of her mouth. So I'm like, that that makes no sense to me that the floor is harder than the Hulk or She Hulk, as you say. But I digress. We'll get to that a little bit later. But generally speaking, um, I enjoyed this episode, Chris, for the most part. I didn't enjoy some of the B plot uh, regarding Mr. Uh, uh, Immortal. I like that, oh, that, that idea of the character, but the whole marriage and the back and forth and the- uh, Which is a real guy from the comics, apparently. Yeah, very much so. And that's another thing that I will applaud. Shout out to Brandon. Shout out to Ron in the chat showing some love. I will applaud that I love when shows or a James Gunn or a Taika Waititi, but more so James Gunn because he's definitely in his bag when it comes to obscureness. But I love these the obscurity of these characters um, that a guy literally has been around since the dawn of time and has had many different marriages and his way of out of a marriage is, is killing himself. I, I find that to be uh, very funny as they acknowledge in this episode, but I, I really didn't necessarily like care <laughs> for the that element. Yeah. Your thoughts, Chris, on kind of the the court trial or the divorce uh, situation going on this week? Did, did, did you work? Did it work or just kind of? No, it didn't work at all, but what it did do for me was give me more time with Nikki and, and the homie. So like, I like seeing them work together on this case that I hated yeah. And like, even how like they were telling each of the women and the guy 
like what they can get and all that kind of stuff like that was genius like you know like the eye contact the 15 seconds or whatever yeah, like meaningful yeah, yeah. apologies i'm like all this is great but this guy is nuts like <laughs> it's not as bad as the as the shapeshifter as like how annoying it is. I didn't even look it up. He looks like Bill Knight, uh, the science guy, but I can't. That face is so familiar. Bill Nye, I know. Yeah, it wasn't Bill as bad Nye, as the shapeshifter lady, but yeah, it was just yeah. like I just I really don't care about it. But it gave me good scenes with my my favorite character Nikki and I think, what's the other woman's name? The other attorney, Mallory. Uh, Mallory Book. Yeah, Mallory. So yeah, so that's cool. I'll take that. But I yeah. didn't care about the guy. Yeah, the guy, like I said, the obscureness of him and his his power set's pretty cool because that to me. Yeah, because then it, but then it makes yeah. us wonder, like, oh, this guy can't die, but we've never heard of him. Like, why wouldn't I, he just I was be gonna, exactly. an Avenger? I was I was just about to get to that point, bro. Like, I would love to know. And again, I know the show isn't really getting into all the the minutia and the lore and who he knows and whatnot. But I'm like, bro, if he's been around for forever, he's probably met the Eternals. He's probably met. Yeah. Goddamn werewolves or vampires, uh, you know. He mentioned, I think, one of the uh, one of his wives is like a comic book character who's like related to Dracula or whatnot. So I'm like, yo, yeah, this is like really lady. cool. Yeah, it's like, hey, we can really kind of pick his brain and see what he's been through and lived through. And did he was he snapped? Was he not snapped? Yeah, all that was going through my brain. But again, this show isn't meant to go deeper than what it is. It's just very and I think level. What they could have done in the beginning, maybe episode one, or wh whenever she got recruited to work at the firm, mm -hmm. they could have just did a quick line that the, the, the that guy that that hired her could be like, ever since the blip, people ever since New York or whatever, people have been coming forward with all sorts of abilities. Now that da, 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 when they were living under the shadows before, now they're coming right. forward and we don't know how to handle it. Like, like that could have just been like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Why people don't know about them? They're just like underground, whatever. Yeah, or just didn't feel comfortable coming forward. So just take like a quick line that could have saved all that. That's a good point that you bring up there, Chris. Uh, and again, we're going to probably be stretching, trying to grab the, some things. There wasn't a lot going on with this episode, but I want to pivot over to what you just said in regards to it, it does feel so weird to me that all these heroes are kind of pop, well, not heroes, but people with abilities are just kind of popping out of nowhere. And like you just said, what ignited this? Is it due to the blip? Is it due to something else catastrophic that we don't know? Is it the timelines have merged and we're now in a new world and we just don't even know it yet uh, until we get to Kang or something like that? So it is, and again, it points to the X Men. And I'm very, I'm so curious on how they're going to handle that aspect. But it is just so odd to me that it feels like we're just in a whole, it doesn't even feel like we're in the MCU in this show, which. To, to sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but it does feel so odd that these are just random people with powers that have never been brought up ever before yeah. especially or just know, like these are like that. serious powers like shape-shifting and being yeah. like what, immortal like those are serious like why not just make them like little like lesser than powers like exactly. that's pretty like hawkeye can die and this, <laughs> this guy can't die exactly and he's a, and he's an avenger he, this guy has no insurance <laughs> Listen, maybe maybe this show low key is uh, building its own little uh, C list of Avengers characters that we're gonna get another spinoff yeah, show. Yeah, the, just the most obscure characters. It's gonna be like the boys. It's essentially kind of like the boys, uh, where you have all these characters with the weirdest powers um, that just literally come out of nowhere. But. Chris, my man, we've been talking about this woman here. Um, we didn't get a lot of her this episode because, again, it was called Just Jen. But I just want to know, uh, Chris, what's, what's the drip? What's the what's the uh, the score on this uh, on this look, bro? Of uh, She Hulk, who, by the way, Jen is is slowly but surely she's embracing She Hulk now. She's like, you know what? This might be the opportunity for me to show off, show off. I can't remember the name. She She Hulk or whatever uh, Nikki called her. But what'd you think um, of the drip, bro? Shulk, and, and Shulk yeah, Shulky or something like that. Shulky, or something, yeah. Shulky, yeah. But your thoughts on the drip, bro, and uh, would you be a plus one to Jen at a wedding? Uh, Jen or She-Hulk? Either or. Both. Which one? Which one? If you had a choice, you had a, a Saturday or Sunday, She-Hulk hits you up, you know. On no, if I had a choice, wedding, I, would, I, would, I would go on a, on a wedding date with Jen because <laughs> if I go with She-Hulk, then yeah. she's going to out drink me and then maybe she could like take advantage of me. But <laughs> Jen and I could be on the same level of like human tolerance. Right. But, <laughs> but um i didn't i the, yeah you asked about the drip the drip she looks good the, yeah even the cgi look all right the hair look good i was like all right yeah i agree bad. yeah looked a lot cleaner but than, uh, previous i was like there's no way she would have come to this wedding after not seeing this woman for so long as she held first like the, as, as a, in a way that like we she's she doesn't even like she wants people to know her as jen like you're gonna come right. to someone's wedding like this like right i just like i was like there's no way she would do this i hate the bride by the way um but, lulu lulu yeah lulu yeah i, was I hated her character yeah i was but, gonna ask you chris which character would you rather hang out with lulu or uh madison madison is the one from wong with wong yeah yeah, yeah. 
please, I'll go on a date with uh, Madison. All day, every day. Fuck Jen. <laughs> yeah, I'll be her plus one at a wedding. <laughs> Definitely, because you know you'll have a good time. But she could out drink you though, Chris. You saw that Madison can put put down some drinks, man. She's a no. Nah, it'll be a, it'll be a good matchup. It'll be a good matchup. <laughs> No, but to your point, man, you brought up, and again, not to point out all the little like weirdness, but it did kind of, it felt odd to me that she, Lulu, is aware of Jen. They haven't talked for a while, but yet you don't know that she's the She-Hulk. Like you would think, like you just said, Chris, when she invited her, like, hey, can you uh, <coughs> friendly remind her, like, hey, can you, can you not bring out the She-Hulk? I want this to be my weekend, but that that didn't seem to cross her mind, nor did it seem or, to know that she knew she was a Hulk, which is still bad. Or a me. rewrite, which maybe would have changed the whole thing, would have been like, they're they're they've broken off their friendship or whatever just because of time past but she only gets the invite if she hulk comes if she's like, exactly that's a great rewrite actually because again in place of the with the show has given us is that she is kind of in dilemma like i want to be me but then other people from work to yeah. all these other stuff they want me to be she so i thought that would have been more creative for sure yeah then it's really a circus like it, it, i hate to even say like she's is she marrying that dog is that what there's that's what they want us to think that she's marrying a who She's marrying that dog. Is that what's happening? The dog. Oh, the the uh, Jonathan. John. Well, I like, think that was just a uh, to walk through the like that was a a bride or a groom's mate. Who? Which one was the actual groom? Oh, they didn't show it. They never showed the groom. Oh, I thought that she, the, the idea was that she's marrying that dog. <laughs> no, that would have been way. I would have cut it off at that point. No, no, that was <laughs> Jonathan was uh supposed to because it was like all the people who had people to walk down the aisle with, and they was like, "You didn't give me one." Like, no, Jen, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna partner you up with Jonathan. So yeah, you know, he was just meant to walk down the aisle. Got it. <laughs> got it. Got, was, it. got it. I was like, that, wait, I would have been out, crazy. bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, they're going crazy. I, I thought we were going to see them. Then I, they said, okay, this is the person. The dog was a groomsman. All right. Yeah, yeah. Even, I mean, that's still crazy, though. Like, also, it is, like, yeah, it is kind of, yeah. The yeah. disrespect that, like, Jen did, like, they unfairly gave Jen all that disrespect. Like, number one, like, so much. When, like a wedding, like a high school wedding like that, like, yeah, yeah. You, it's kind of like a high school reunion where, like, some people are just, like, still doing the same thing, working dead end jobs. But, like, if I'm her Jen and I'm a fucking, like, high power attorney and fucking superhero, like, you're not you're not going to be trolling me or clowning uh, me or hazing me at this wedding. Like I'm better than all of you guys. I'm not ironing. Washing, your you're right. Washing dishes. I, like what kind of? Yeah, I, bro. She, I don't know. Uh, Lulu Jen is just too sweet, man. She's too nice of a person. I don't get it. She needs to hulk out. She needs to snap out of her kindness and 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 put some people in check. But yeah, man, Lulu was on one in this episode, bro. Uh, I did. I do want to uh, acknowledge a quick little joke when everyone was like googly-eyed over she-hulk and they're like look at your ass jen and i thought the joke by lulu everyone has an ass and just kind of like again yeah, all that hate spotlight. yeah, yeah all that, that, that was hate. funny i will say that uh but kind of moving on to the again not a ton of stuff going on i'm just kind of going through the episode here and just trying to find some interesting talking points to bring up for us uh to kind of dive into um Again, we talked about Mr. And I did find it again. I know you say you like the Mallory and um, um, what's that, Nikki. Nikki conversation. I found it a little bit. Again, I know the show isn't meant to be like a verbatim to actually what courts and lawyers look like. But I was like, come on, bro. Y'all supposed to be non-biased, non-judgmental, even though the man is a, a you know, a, a, a scrub. But I'm like, y'all yeah. being a little bit too too harsh. I got to be put your emotions aside and put your your personal feelings aside. But I don't know. Did you did yeah. you get a kick out of their banter? At least them bonding over this uh, again, this this scrub. No, I totally agree with you about like how, like lawyers <laughs> wouldn't move because I, I thought that yeah, at the end sure. when when Mallory wouldn't want to tell, didn't want to tell Jen. I'm like, she really wouldn't in real life. She would tell her immediately as an as an attorney, she would. But um, the banter was was good. Look at look at my people close times. Yeah, people know. Yeah, I ain't the only one. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um and i still kept watching though i was like this is crazy um, right. <laughs> no nah, but yeah i love the banter between them um <sighs> nikki yeah she, nikki just just climbing the like tatiana is crazy she's good she's great but nikki's just slowly just creeping up nikki's cool man i've been a nikki fan since uh since the jump and especially last week with her and pug uh hanging out which i, I do wish he was maybe teamed up in this week's episode but of course, you know, he's doing his whatever he's doing, getting his new drip, getting his new shoes or whatever from the uh, the broker here. Um, but going back would have been good, though, because yeah. like then because it's like this womanizer or whatever, mm -hmm. like they could have just brought, brought him in for a quick cameo. Like, oh, we need a, a male's perspective here. Like, what's like what's going on with this guy? Like, why why does he think like this? Like, what can we do? Like a quick little cameo that could be funny. Like, yeah. wait, he has this many wives and I have none or whatever. Like, 
something funny with that with him. I would have loved a cameo. I would have yeah. I, I would have thought it would have been nice to have either a existing character we've met or even someone in this show. Like maybe hell, Madison maybe knew him at one point, but uh, they they haven't connected all the tissues and and all that stuff yet. But speaking of connection, let's go ahead and talk about it because I have a connection with her. I like Titanium Chris. I think she is hilarious. I think Titania. her whole Titania, uh, her whole Kim Kardashian isms are just hilarious. And she is, um, I, I know you haven't seen Atlanta, the new season yet, but when you get there, you'll know what I'm talking about to this reference. The pettiness of a particular character in Atlanta is definitely heightened in this episode. Uh, yes. She is, she, she, she's willing to date this random dude, which by the way, that has, that has to take a lot of research, by the way, that she would have to like know who exactly her friend was how she got an invite to a wedding and that she knew to sabotage it that 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 that's another level of planning uh or also what we like to call just kind of cheap writing uh but neither yeah. here nor there chris your your thoughts on her uh crashing this wedding which is a great comedy one of my favorites of all time is wedding crashers mixed in with a little bit of uh bridesmaids in this episode uh your thoughts on this plan by uh our, our villain coming up out of the blue like, will she really need to even fake a date? Like, can she just, just crash it just regular and just... Right, because like, she's celebrity. Exactly. Yeah, the whole thing with her this episode was weird, because then, like, <laughs> even when, when uh, Jen was having a hard time jumping ahead, but she was having a hard time turning into the Hulk, mm -hmm. like, yeah, you maybe you want a fair fight, but, like, you, you already shown that you don't really fight fair, so, like, why would you even wait for her to turn into the Hulk? You could just beat her ass right now. So. That, uh, Chris, we're going to get to that, man. Again, I know this show isn't meant to be all dark oh, ingredient man. series, but a real villain would have, like you just said, Chris, would have taken advantage of her, which I think they're actually planting that seed that they're whoever the big bad is who we'll talk about. I think they're going to go ahead and try to find a way to distract her or maybe get her drunk because obviously we see that that is uh, her at her weakest point. But I am curious, though, when like for Bruce Banner, I know when he is like his regular self, if he were to jump off a building or get shot by a gun, like the Hulk would just instinctively come out to just protect him. So I wonder if the same thing would apply to Jen, if, if something, if she wasn't able to control herself uh, or is drunk and if something happened, if she can just inst instinctively become she all. I don't know if that's something I'm going to play to a little bit later. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But listen, man, like I said, Titania, I need more of her. I want more of her. I love her. Right. She's hilarious. The swag, the look. All of it is just it's just working for me, Chris. This is but they like say you, you're not a fan yet, right? You, you're not liking her. I liked her in the last episode with the with the with the makeup and all that. Just yeah. this episode, I was just like, oh, enough with this. And then the fight threw me off. And then her looks are still crazy. And then she didn't want to fight the girl. And uh, like you're you're dating this guy who's like not hot. Like, ugh. <laughs> you know what it I, I think it. what what it is for me, Chris. I can see the show's not giving her much of anything. I think she's given us more than what she's been given. And that's what I admire more than, than anything is just seeing that she's trying to make something out of nothing. Uh, I would imagine she was the one, because I don't know if you see her on, uh, on social media, bro, but she's like going out in LA and spray painting She-Hulk posters and like going to the extra level. She She's on, um, I saw a video just randomly on TikTok. She's like making little funny videos with Madison as the character Madison. So like this actress, Jamila, Jamil, I've just become a big fan of her because she's just... She's taking this little bit. She's yeah, she's great, bro. Like I said, I, I know she's on the good time or the good place or something like good that. Place. I might just watch that just for the sake. I know it's a good show. I've heard it's good, but I might just dive into it just because I'm a big fan of her. I think she's just great. So I think right now I'm kind of fanboying over her right now, more so than what the show's giving us. I'm just I'm here for it, Chris. I'm here. But speaking of here for it, this also his name before you Josh. continue, yeah. jo his name is Josh, by the Josh, way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Lulu was driving me crazy. Because I was like, yo, where do I know her from? Like, what did I just watch with her in it? Well, wait, and, um, look familiar. Yeah. So I don't know if you ever watched um, Together Together with my man from Hangover, my man Ed Helms, Ed Helms, when he wants to uh, oh, have a kid, weird. he he wants to have a baby, but like, yeah, he like, like the woman, Patty Harrison that plays Lulu is like his surrogate. Okay. Um, That movie was like real low key, 2021. That sounds so familiar. Real good movie. Yeah. Together okay. Together. She's but I mean, she does actress. have that face, like a very. I'm trying yeah. to see her filmography uh, as well. But she was uh, also in Lost City, so you must have seen her on yep, that. That's yep. And I can't remember what she who she was in that film. She yeah, might have been I a forgot too. Character. But, um, yeah, a simple favor. Love that movie. Yeah, she out there. Awesome oh, favor fire. Uh, um, but Chris, your thoughts, man, on this Chris or Chris? Dear Chris, Josh. <laughs> Josh, your thoughts on this guy? Is it true love, Chris, or is he just part of this? Uh, scheme he's working with whoever the big bad is or is, is jen gonna find someone that's actually like her for who she is 
Nah, because it was too perfect, I know this guy's a bad yeah, it guy. it was way too perfect. Um, but I rewinded this scene because when he comes and sits down and he's like, oh, well, I was looking for someone stuffing their face with candy or whatever. And she's like, oh, uh, like, I was like, damn, like, that's genius. Like, I wonder if they wrote that in. Like, just these small little things. Like, she's just fucking nailing. Like, I don't know if anyone ever thought of, ever is thinking of these stupid things that I think of. But I was like, damn, like, that was a good moment. That's like, perfect. So, um, uh, you know, a little, little way to break the ice. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, like she's like she reacted perfectly to it. Like I don't really care. I'm not hyping it up and just like also funny. And then she had to come and react to um Lulu telling her to go clean the shit up and she just got up and did it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, man. I think you're you're totally right. It's a little bit too again, if we're playing to the sitcom uh rom-com nature then you know sometimes there are those perfect guys and perfect girls for one another and, and i hope that is the case and i would like the gin to to find someone that makes her happy and likes her for her but i think you're you're totally right bro i think he is uh definitely putting on um just to to be a part of the whatever their plan is if he is working with the big bad that we'll talk about here in a second but i don't know he man, came across like, like when he sat down like he just felt like huge and i was like Hmm. I, I don't know if they were going for that just to show like how like his size or whatever, but I was like, mm-hmm. huh, like this is like a regular, this is like a pretty large fellow. Yeah, hmm. yeah, we're gonna keep an eye on him, bro. I think we'll uh, we'll get some. <laughs> of course, you got to get the uh, you know the Mephistos out there for sure. I, I I I'm telling you right now, Chris. This on a side note. Whenever we get him, because at this point, Marvel just has to, just like they said, they they brought John Krasinski in to play, uh, for spoiler alert, for Doctor Strange, which came out over six months ago now. But he is uh, Mr. Fantastic in that film, at least. But they said that they did that because they, they wanted to do a little thing for the fans. We'll see if they'll bring him back, which at this point, I don't think they will. But they need to just bring Mephisto in just for the hell of it at this point, whether it is a small little cameo in something or um, actually being a big bad. Mephisto needs to come, Chris. I think they just need to just bury it and, and bring him into the MCU. Just make it official. At least address him. At least address him. And, and I mean, we remember WandaVision. That was like every week. Everything was Mephisto. The the way that the title cards went across the screen or you, you see that red in, in, the, in the car there. It's Mephisto. It, it, was, it was pretty crazy, man. That was at the height of the... Uh, the theory train but we talked about this scene a little bit earlier chris did you say that did you say you like this the banter the, the resolution of it all of how and by the way it would have been i would imagine way more wives because especially of his lifetime but i guess most of them probably passed away and i would have expected yeah, more, more men local. too because he's been you know when you're alive so long men women doesn't really matter at that point uh but yeah, yeah, probably more local situations. So this man probably has a thousand different uh, lawsuits coming his way. But did you did yeah. you say you like this moment with the the resolution going on? I like the moment when Nikki was sitting on the table, like just like, all right, you get this, you get that, you get this. So that that was cool. The diversity yeah. here is cool to show like this dude. You know, you know, like, yeah, I ain't got no time. Women. Yeah, yeah. So that was cool. <laughs> but I just like like to like what you said. Like I just didn't care about this guy at all. And, and like yeah. I was like, this is a lot. Like, like I know they're just they have to fill in with a with a trial with a case in each episode. Yeah. But all right, I will. I would love to be in that writers' room just to kind of see who and what how they came up with certain things. Like this week, let's uh, again going through the comics. Let's see. Okay, this Mister Immortal. How can we put him into the show? Oh, I got it. What if we say that he's getting the like? I, I'm just very curious on how they come up with that because I don't think this is a uh, canon to any comic book runs of him being sued or having a, a cameo or whatnot in a, in a She-Hulk run. But very curious on how they came up with uh, number one, how to pick these particular characters, uh, and number two, how they're going to incorporate them in this show and, and kind of make it into uh, you know fit into this narrative. Very curious yeah. on that. Have you speaking of that? Have you watched uh, what is it called? The Assembled. Of the uh the Disney Plus shows after they mm. drop like months later and they show like the behind the scenes. Have you watched one of those? No, I haven't. I haven't. Is it worth the, the watch? <sighs> They're not that good, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, yeah. they have. I think the, the they did the most recent one was uh, Miss Marvel. That one was pretty cool because it showed a little bit more of uh Aman Valani and her kind of ri- rise to fame and how they went about picking her. But most of it just kind of like. It doesn't really dive too deep into the stuff I'm looking forward to. But I say all that to say I would like to watch this one just to kind of see, again, how they came about choosing these crazy characters, um, who came up with the, the the trial of the week and how many other ones didn't make it into the show. I'm, I would be curious to know all of that stuff. But yeah. speaking of curious, bro, I am just want to get your thoughts on um, this website here. And uh, who, who do you think is behind all this uh, the craziness going on? Yeah, I could not tell you who I think is behind it, but 
again, like I said earlier, I thought it was surprising that Mallory wouldn't have just wanted to tell Jen right away, like just like as like a as a friend or even like just like a business partner. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was a little weird, but I have no ideas. I'm interested to hear your theories. I got theories. I got theories. Uh, and I will be sharing those here in a minute. But I actually want to just bring this up for you, Chris, because I know this was a, a scene that you mentioned earlier um, and just want to, you know, show some love to uh, Mr. Jonathan here, you know, making his way into the MCU uh, with Look his, with his uh, <laughs> tongue hanging out of his mouth. Um, I, I, do you want more of this character is, is the big question I have for you, Chris. Do you want to see Jonathan? Like, they literally like, casted the ugliest dog ever created. Like, <laughs> To go with her ugliest dress in ever in creation of television history, like it all. This scene was like very frustrating. Yeah, like and the guys. Well, I mean, are playing especially Mario for you, Kart. considering they, that you they thought they were going to get married. Yeah, no, I thought that was nuts. But also, I was like, damn, no one's reacting to this. Like, she's just cool with this. But like, hey, they, she said like they were playing Mario Kart. These days. Yeah, they're playing Mario Kart, but it's like I feel like only one of them has a switch. I don't know if you had that scene on your computer, but like, was it just them all watching one guy play? Oh, was that the case? Let me see. I don't know. Hopefully, they all had uh, consoles, oh, but the wrong button. I was like, ugh, like you, they have to take their shirts off to watch this guy play. Let me go back. Let me see. Let me see. Um, which, by the way, guys, why I don't want uh, any dead air for you all watching us at home, but uh, like, share, comment. Subscribe, do all that good stuff. Where I try to find, I can't find the scene, bro. I'm trying to find it. It's not allowing you. Me might to it might not have come out yet because maybe it was after she handed it to her maybe we maybe we didn't get there yet okay maybe it was like after she handed it to him then they look over and it's like oh these are our guys shirts that need to be ironed i don't i don't remember where exactly it came but i was like are they all oh and another scene that was kind of crazy not crazy but when she's buying the drinks at the cash bar which i guess we didn't get to yet he said five dollars she was giving her like 30. well she was giving <clears throat> 11 mm -hmm. but the second time she puts the money down, the camera's like in reverse. So like the five is like mirror image. So it looks like a two. Ah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know if that was just like a lazy cut, but I was just like, <laughs> what's up y'all doing? Like, this is crazy. This is a Marvel show. People marrying dogs, people paying with fake money. I mean, what is this world coming to, Chris? All right, I found the scene. I'm looking at it now. I'm trying to see if they are. I'm just I'm just curious at this point. Yep. You are right, Chris. Um, they are sweating. They are getting all uh, excited for watching their friend playing um, Mario. Yeah, you're right, bro. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. <clears throat> is that is, speaking of Chris? Is that everyone hates Chris? I can't think of the actor's name. He kind of looks like him. On no, the right. On the right. Yeah. Oh my God, no! Nah, because because this because at Abbott Elementary, I know exactly what he looks like. I know. That's I need to him. watch that show, bro. I hear that show is hilarious. Yeah, you should watch that show. I should. It, it just came back uh, this week. Season two, right? Or, well, I, don't, I think it's still season one. I think it's just like the second. Probably took a break. Well, is it season two? I don't know. Yeah, it might be season two actually. I've been hearing great things, bro. So many great things. But uh, we're now at the party. I'm kind of skimming through here. We we briefly touched on it, but fight choreography, man. Like I said, I almost wish that they didn't have fights in this show because it is just so goofy and so over the top. It makes me just wonder, like, when She Hulk is brought into the greater MCU and she has to fight a, I don't know, a Kang or any of the you know, Doom or any of the big bads they're going to have her crossing against when she inevitably gets into the big screen. It's just, uh, it just seems so goofy to me, bro. It just seems so slapstick over the top. It's just, it's ridiculous, man. It reminds me a lot of, you know, one of my least favorite shows of the MCU has been uh, Hawkeye. It reminds me so okay. much of when Hawkeye was fighting those, um, those, I can't think of those people's names right now, but when he was doing the whole sword fighting thing, it was just like, this is ridiculous, bro. Even though I know that was meant to be ridiculous, but it feels like this show is playing into like trying to be serious, but it just looks ridiculous of her and and, and the fights with the villain. Yeah, I think that for, it's an and it's weird because like these fights are very Disney Channel, they're very childish, but it's mm -hmm. like the writing for the rest of the show and the humor is not childish and it's not cheap. Like they're not cheap jokes that they're trying to get off. They're not like knee slapper funny. Like they're like subtle sarcasm, sarcasm. There's like they're trolling us as viewers. They're trolling the MCU. So like there's people thinking some deep shit like, <clears throat> but the, these fight scenes are just so elementary. Yeah. It's like, there's no, there's a disconnect there. And I'm looking at this shot here, man. This kind of, we talked about her drip earlier in the episode. And uh, again, She-Hulk is, um, you know, a very, a very good looking uh, uh, CGI creation at times, but I, I'm not feeling this look here, bro. This is kind of, uh, it's very off-putting. 
it's just not uh the green with the pink and okay it's okay, just a look okay, it's, a, it's okay. a look chris it's a look it's a look i know there's that's people a, online that might like it's it, a crazy but, uh, still it's very crazy still i mean I, I'm, I'm thinking about making this um Your my uh, screensaver maybe yeah or maybe my avatar you might be right chris i might do that just because it is so so off-putting that people might want to follow me or subscribe or whatnot based on that picture. But uh, yeah. in all seriousness, again, the 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 moment that I was just kind of like, this is kind of, again, this, this at this point, their whole fights are kind of ridiculous. But it's the punch here for me, Chris. This, uh, the, the Hulk good can, 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 you know, pick a 12-ton up tank, throw a tank into the galaxy, probably just destroy the world. As she just showed two seconds ago, she can put her foot down and, and, and crack and make ripples in the concrete. But she punches her in the face, and that doesn't do anything. But when we see her falling on her face, she breaks her teeth. Like is, the logic doesn't make sense to me, Chris. The the floor as she just broke, she Hulk just broke the floor like two seconds ago. Um, but the punch didn't do anything. I don't know. Am I tripping, Chris? Am I thinking too much into it? You're definitely not tripping. But what's even worse than that is when she did have her teeth broken. It was like the cheapest Party oh, yeah. City Halloween costume store <laughs> teeth I've ever seen. Look at that. Come on, man. What's her name in real life again? Tell me. Uh, Jamila Jama Jamil. Jamila Jamil. 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 Jesus I think. Christ. Yeah, yeah. She's selling it, Mero, because like I said, she is. They're clowning her on these streets, bro. They are really clowning this character. It's, um, again, I'm, I'm very aware, guys, that it is meant to be goofy. Um, but it is, there's a line. Again, there's, uh, I don't know so many kids, if I'm being honest with you, Chris, that would probably watch She-Hulk. Uh, by kids, I mean understand. like 13 or under. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure on if they're trying to maybe get the kid in us to, to find, like you just mentioned, this kind of goofy, this straight out of a Disney TV show or movie, this uh, this look here. But I don't know. The writers maybe have just a different, which they everyone has a different sense of humor, but the writers definitely have more of their inner child sense of humor with some of these moments, bro. The, I, teeth, yeah. the teeth is something else, man. No, the teeth are crazy. <laughs> The teeth are crazy. And I don't even think that they're trying to bring out the kid in us because it's like, it's not like nostalgia or anything like that. It's just like, yeah. just poorly executed. Yeah. It's uh, it's a little too much. Too much for me at points, man. But we, we wrap up the episode with Lulu being happy for her because she's drunk. So she probably just is uh, in inside of her. She probably does think like we mentioned earlier. She's like, oh, man, the she hugs will be my wedding. But obviously she's kind of put on the front. But she... You know, they say when you when you get some alcohol in your system, the troops come out. So she was probably really happy that she was there. But neither here nor there. Speaking of bonding, yeah. we got these two bonding. And I, and I found it very interesting, Chris. We're going to get to the theories here in a second and final uh, wrap up, some final thoughts. But Mallory says that, you know, she's kind of, again, alcohol brings out the truth, man. They're drinking some wine, had a long day at work. They they, they solved another case or, um, you know, won another court case. And Mallory mentions to us as well, you know, as the audience and mentions to Nikki that she has a husband and she has a kid. I'm thinking to myself, Chris, like, you know, normally people, I know people like to keep their personal lives out of their work lives, but, you know, a photo on the wall or on the desk or on your screensaver, that doesn't hurt, right? It makes me think, Chris, that Mallory might not be who we think she is, bro. She might be maybe the wife of whoever's behind this, which, again, going back to uh, the announcements a few weeks ago at uh, D23, they announced that uh, Tim Nelson Blake, who played the leader uh, or was becoming the leader in, in the, um, the Incredible Hulk back in 2008, that he's going to mm -hmm. be the Hulk or the villain in uh, the next Captain America film. So I don't think that she's married to that character, but I think that her whoever her husband is might be tied into working with the leader and everyone. Chris, am I, am I crazy in thinking that, that she is hiding her family uh, if she even has one in the first place? No, you're not crazy, but then that makes sense of why I was talking about how, like, why wouldn't she tell Jen that yeah. the people are threatening her? Damn, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's good. Mallory, uh, and, and, who, and not to say that she's the, a big bad or a villain, but maybe she is, you know, married to someone. We we saw it in um, Spider-Man. Yeah, you go up. I guess if you go back, too, like, when we first started seeing her, like, she never wanted to really be her friend. Like, yeah, man. She's like, I get you, I get you this drink, she gets a drink and leaves, like, I'm yeah. trying to get too close to her. Yeah, I'm. I'm telling you, man. I'm, I'll, and I'll, by the way, I love the actress that plays her. We talked about last week. Just she brings a lot of groundedness. She was a little bit. She played more into the goofiness in this episode, which uh, I'm not a big fan of. But she still has this groundedness, grittiness to her that I really appreciate. But again, I would love to know. Uh, I, I don't think it's a mistake that they haven't revealed or that 
her coworkers. I know they just started this uh, business not too long ago, but like I said, no poster or not, no, no posters, but no pictures, no mentions of the family, no husband. Hey, honey, how's wife? How's work going? Dropping off food. Very, very curious on that, man. Um, but you know, this show, one thing I will say about this show, they definitely have recreated uh online culture in the show. Uh cancel hashtag cancel she hulk. Uh when memes. you a hulk, but you still <laughs> dumb. Uh the memes, all that stuff, man. They're definitely playing into uh the culture that we live in, a Reddit type of thread. But this is where it gets a little serious, man. How do we kill the She-Hulk, Chris, is, is one of the questions on the forum, uh, which I'm assuming might be, it says, uh, slash heroes. We need to get rid of her. Does anyone know what can kill her? It's time to do something. All ideas and discussions welcome. So, Chris, man, do you think that this is um, some of the wrecking crew that's getting people all riled up online? Or again, do you think like, just taking it back to the leader and stuff like that, do you think there's someone maybe more sinister and more uh, intelligent that's doing this, that's running this operation? I mean, yeah, I think it's something more intelligent, but I also wonder what she has done already that they that they would want to kill her. Like she just, just yeah. she for like two weeks and she didn't good point. She punched one girl in the face. Like, I don't. I, I just. I just would wonder, like, like, why is there no Bruce Banner hate page? Unless that's there is. true. Unless there, right? Unless there isn't. We just, yeah, we haven't seen it come across because we haven't. Uh, unfortunately, you got a, a Bruce Banner solo out in uh, almost fourteen years. I'm trying to. See, I'm looking through the website too and just trying to see any other little Easter eggs on this site because I know a couple weeks ago when they had the uh, X Men, she was Wolverine. online and had the X Men and the Wolverine. So I'm just trying to go through this little um, website and just see if there's any other little. This is, I mean, this is definitely ripped off of Reddit. I mean, this literally looks, everything looks like Reddit. Trading channel, yeah. channels is She-Hulk, images, heroes, movies, memes, yeah. Um, again, I appreciate the little little Easter eggs. So I don't see anything too crazy. Um, someone just shoot she <laughs> Again, so much, so much hate. Oh, let me see this. Uh, is this a, a good meme? When you are Hulk, but you still um, uh, want equality, still... <laughs> You mm. think this stuff, yeah, this is definitely playing into the internet trolls out there, Chris. Do you, do you think that's uh clever writing, my friend? I think it's great. I think it's great. <laughs> Eight reasons she hulk needs to die. Yeah, there's a lot of hate out there, bro, for no reason. Like you said, Chris, like what has she done to make these people um hate her so much, bro? Besides getting uh the, the one two combo to the villain, man. I don't know uh, where the hate's coming from, just chilling, bro. She yeah, just living her best life. Um, but wrapping up the episode, man, again, just as we wrap it up, because as you mentioned earlier, Chris, there was no post credit scene, which um, I don't know. I thought I heard. And again, I guess the Internet, you can never trust it. But I thought that they said that every episode was going to have a post credit scene. But it doesn't really matter. That too. Yeah, that's what I thought. But none of the none of the post credit scenes have besides being like funny jokes. I've never been like worth like big conversation pieces but again as they wrap up the episode we see that they're in some type of laboratory and again they have surveillance camera or footage on she hulk which again makes me think that that um that josh guy is probably somehow some way tied into whoever this person is but we see that they have like dna going and then we have a message board here is the next phase um is the next phase of the plan ready to go and it says hulk king i don't know uh who that is um, well, I know who Hulk King is in the comics, but obviously I don't know who uh, is taking that uh, mantra, taking that avatar name. But again, man, this is a, uh, it's so weird to me, Chris, because again, we, we reviewed all the shows and it's just like, okay, what does this mean for the greater MCU or whatnot? But the way the show is kind of manufactured itself so far, Chris, I don't even know if it's going to be like someone that we, that I'm assuming like a leader or, you know, a, a Zemo ish type of character, but I could be wrong, man. Would, would you be disappointed if it isn't something bigger or would you think it just kind of fits the tone of the show if it's just end up being like a, a random person just doing all this stuff disappointed no surprised yeah i feel like yeah. the show is going to give us something in the end where we're like oh finally a payoff right i i just, why do i think that no real reason i just <laughs> i just have a hunch now do you think it's going to be able to pay off via the hulk because we know he's in space somewhere in sakar and coming no, back no i just I mean like oh like like it'll end and i'll and we, i think would be mm -hmm. like okay i see where they're taking us all right yeah that was yeah. worth it fine i hope that. so man i hope so because as we we obviously know um well i don't say obviously but of course this shot shows us that uh because before Ooh, this shot was the that. um was the uh i'm trying to not play too much because i don't want to you guys can see that he has the the same the thing that they tried last time. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously that whoever, hold on, let me just pull it up here. I'm going to try to, 
whoever did that first mission, failed mission, is obviously working with this person. But my only thing with that, Chris, is they were some bumbling idiots, bro. Like, it, it reminds me so much of, and it was so weird that um, Kingpin would have the 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 mob track suit mafias work for him because they're so goofy. And Kingpin's yeah. not goofy. Well, now he is. If you know, I'm not a big fan of how they're treating him. But neither here nor there. To me, it would just be like if we're supposed to expect this person to be so smart, so intelligent, having people at the weddings and knowing where to go and how to do it and get these internet forms and all this stuff. That why would they hire these goofy ass people dressed up, you know, in, in clown suits for the um, the uh, the wrecking crew, man? So that's what it's just like a contradiction. Like I'm supposed to be thinking that this big bad is so intelligent and so smart and so menacing, but yet they work with fools. I don't know, Chris. Am I thinking too much yeah. to it, bro? No, I don't think you are at all. I just think it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, you always send this the weak henchman and then you get the Thanos, I'll do it myself. I think that's right. where we're, we're going. Where we're headed. Yeah. yeah. I, I guess. I guess. Like I said, I would just imagine if this person is so smart, they would know we're dealing with a Hulk. So, of course, these little purchased at Menards or uh, Home Depot weapons wouldn't work against a Hulk. So, But I guess the benefit of that situation is they know now, I, I would assume that their new um, weapons or their upgrades here are probably Vibranium because we we remember the date that she went on with that that one character. I can't think of their name right now, but he asks, oh, does your skin break with Vibranium? And, you know, we're assuming that this guy is everyone so far that she's come across, minus maybe a couple of those dates, but I would assume everyone that she's met so far on this show is probably working with whoever the, the big bad is behind the scenes. But I think that that's probably Vibranium, Chris. Again, I could be wrong, but I would think that that probably is Vibranium to, to break her uh penetrator her skin nice yeah that'd be fire i think the power broke we'll see justin i i'm i'm um that re that reveal chris because we talked about you know reveals i know that's your favorite show uh you know uh, falcon winter soldier mm -hmm. but uh sharon carter I, I hope like i said when we reviewed that i hope that the power broker is like a, a name that you can kind of put around uh, to other people put a title or exactly so yeah i hope that there is if it is a aka power broker i hope that there is someone behind the curtain that's uh a la dr doom or again if we're going down this route with it being the leader who is tied to the hulk being the person getting all this stuff uh set up and situated but overall chris man like i said bro the episode has its moments has some moments that made us question some things and kind of question our uh you know uh, us being <laughs> adults like this is kind of written for kids but Final thoughts for you, Chris, man. Again, we're six episodes in. Normally, this would be the finale, right? Because all these Marvel shows yep. are only six episodes, but we got three more left. But how you feeling, bro? Six episodes in. Um, are you still enjoying it, or is it just uh, just turn off the brain for the week and just enjoy whatever shenanigans Jen and She-Hulk find themselves in? I am enjoying it, but I'm also turning my brain off. Like I remember yeah. some shows, like like I kind of look forward to seeing a new episode of She-Hulk. I mean, there are some shows that pass, and I'm like, oh, I gotta watch mm -hmm. okay, this. Yeah. Um, and, and then, of course, most of the time I watch them, I'm like, OK, this is fine. This ended up fine. But yeah, I think, yeah, I'm like, I'm cool with this with this weird journey just because of like off the strength of like Jen. Nikki, yeah. Yep. You know, those kind of, like she's really carrying it. And like 100%. I would love like and I'm just I'm really just, you know, thinking of the future of her with the other characters that we do love. Yeah. Just yeah, like yeah. she could really hang with them like on a, some like banter on some strength so like i'm willing to play the kitty game or like the, the the less serious game for now right just for the, the later payoff i i hear you man and to that point i'm, I'm just curious because who out of the mcu that we have so far or maybe don't have a la maybe a deadpool but who is a character that you would love to see her share some screen time with some banter back and forth uh like say, it could either be currently in the MCU or people that we know are coming to the MCU. Who who do you want the, to see her share some screen time with? Of course, Elena. I'm always going to say that. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's always number one. <laughs> right. It'll be interesting to see how she interacts with Fury, because like, yeah, you know, she's she's like a lawyer, so she follows rules and laws. So like, and maybe he's not used to that because most of his people are just they go crazy, they go rogue all the time. So it's like that's an interesting dynamic of like. Maybe she's like the teacher's pet. Maybe she's the one that's like, you know, doing all the things. Yeah. Love to see her interact with Hulk. I mean, Hulk, Thor. Just, yeah. Oh, that would, of, yeah. I mean, that would definitely be a conversation worth listening to because it'll just be kind of goofiness and craziness. Yeah. Her drinking with Valkyrie. Like, yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a vibe. 
I like that one. That I'm going to take that one. Her and Valkyrie would be a nice uh, pairing. I definitely agree with you. The Elena, as well as uh, who said that? It was uh, my man. My man Justin said uh, Kate Bishop. I would, yeah, I think that would be a fun duo. Uh, and I think too, the, obviously, the big one would be Deadpool. Uh, I think which. Just a side tangent. I want more fourth wall breaking, Chris. Am I wrong in saying that, bro? I want more of the fourth wall breaking. I, I said it I, since the beginning. I, I, that she's doing it perfectly. So like, it yeah, seems like every more. episode we're getting less. Four. I think in this episode we only got the intro. Oh, yeah, which one intro, was the second one? The when she oh, she, she did look at the camera. I think when there was a cash bar, and when yeah. she realized that it was a cash bar, and she's like, oh, "All right." It was a, it was another. I just can't remember. But I, I, I get all that to say. I'm getting to that point. To say I just want more of it. I would really want to see more of those fourth wall breaking, bro. Because I think in number one, it really fits within this tone and this narrative. And then again, it shows her comedic chops, uh, Tatiana Maslany. So I just want more of the wall breaking. But again, to tie it back to my question, I, I would love to see again her and, and Deadpool having a little back and forth, and her representing him in court or whatnot. That would, that would be a, a, a hoot, as they say. But mm -hmm. apparently we're, we're getting a, a big character that she's going to be collaborating with here soon, Chris, which is Daredevil, which I'm, again, very, very curious, very excited, a little nervous to see how they mm -hmm. handle Dead, or uh, uh, Daredevil just based on how they handle Kingpin so far. But maybe uh, Matt Murdock or Charlie Cox is like, nah, bro, y'all not about to disrespect me like you did my man Vincent D'Onofrio. I'm going to bring in some of my Netflix uh, uh, tone and also kind of play in you guys' narrative. I hope it's just a happy medium, man. I'm, I'm really uh, excited to see what they do with Daredevil and how he fits into this world. Is the Daredevil that we're supposed to see here the same one from Spider-Man? Or was he yeah. left over Netflix? No, so yeah, so and a great question, man. So, um, Charlie Cox was on the red carpet after they announced, you know, his show is 18. Well, not announced, they already announced, but when he was at D23, he just gave some pretty interesting tidbits. He had said that number one, the Daredevil that we will uh, that we saw in the Netflix world, this, this isn't going to be that Daredevil. He said that the, his show will be a season one, not a season four of that Netflix show. Um, but then to answer your question, yeah, the same character that we got in, in his uh, in the Spider Man film will be that same Daredevil, uh, Matt Murdock. So I'm excited, man. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah same. But uh, man, listen, this is always a, a a great time with you, bro. Again, I know we gotta. We've been we're, we're approaching the hour mark. If there's anyone in the chat that wants to pop in for a couple minutes to maybe ask me and, and Chris a question, let me know by putting a one in the chat. If not, we'll we'll wrap things up. But overall, man, again, Chris, we talk about it every week. Man, the show isn't breaking new ground. It's not the greatest thing on earth or whatnot. But like you said mm -hmm. earlier, bro, I'm, I'm having a good time with it. It's just what is Jen gonna get into? What's the the weirdness, the craziness, the kookiness, or the uh, obscure character they're gonna give us? I do want a little bit more grittiness coming soon, hopefully, with uh, the injection of a Daredevil and, and hopefully maybe get a better understanding of where this show is going to go and where they're going to take Jen uh, moving forward. But at, like you said, bro, shut the brain off, have a good laugh, uh, yeah. and enjoy some, some good uh, comedy beats every now and then, man. <clears throat> um, I have a question for you. Yeah. From what I understand and what I'm reading and hearing, um, this show is not – um it's not doing well on on ratings people not really tuning in from i guess as they should have mm -hmm. or as 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 we're, as we're used to so like and yeah. i know they moved <clears throat> this away from wednesdays i thought yeah, for that for that for, reason uh, so star like, wars yeah and and we know that miss marvel was getting not crazy ratings but they were people were tuning in it was it was trending a little do you think that what reason would you give why people would watch that show and not this show or do you think people did not like that show and then are now not watching this show you know that's well first man it's, you need to be a, a professional uh newscaster interview man you, you got the great questions Look, man i'm here <laughs> well I, I, to be honest with you chris i think the the shows each show has been less and less the talking point of the week like i, I think all the way dating back to for me i would say hawkeye with hawkeye uh moon knight Miss Marvel compared to the numbers that Loki and WandaVision and Falcon Winter Soldier, like those were, you know, theories, theories, videos, you know, all the different stuff that you, you know, that we would have been used to with Marvel uh, in the last uh, 10 plus years or so. But to answer you, to go back to, uh, and, I, and I haven't seen the numbers, but I, I definitely agree with you because you can just tell, even if you don't see like the actual numbers, you can feel when a show is popular. Like you don't, you know, you can just, the it's, it's dominating Twitter, it's dominating Instagram, and this show is definitely not doing that. Of course, you'll see occasional videos by some of the bigger um, 
content creators out there, and you can tell it's so funny to me. I applaud those content creators that uh are that do the Easter hunts and all that stuff, especially with a show like this, where it's just like so hard to to find the stuff that uh especially compared to something like a WandaVision. But neither yeah. here nor there, man. I think a lot of people, and this is just my personal opinion, I think a lot of people are kind of checking out of Marvel right now, at least for the time being. I think we, we've we hit this run now where Marvel has so many projects going on at once that you can now pick and choose which you want to kind of take in. And, and some stuff is going to fit into the greater universe. Some stuff is going to be kind of a singular independent story like we got with Moon Knight and I would say for this show as well. But I think once we kind of get out of this phase four with ending with Wakanda forever and we get into secret invasion and get into the daredevils of the world and get into the more of the dark and grittiness, I think they're going to, we're going to see those numbers come back up. But I think right now we're at a little bit of a lull because some of these shows aren't just uh, as impactful as some of the first few episodes or first few uh, shows that we got, you know, last year. So, yeah. Yeah. So you're saying it's know. not to the, not, not completely to the fault of She-Hulk. It's just, yeah, no, I think this is, yeah. At. Where Marvel's at right now, the placement of it all. I think we're again uh, with movie theater with movies coming back out. I think people are just not as um, you know um, excited about this show, and and even uh, like I said, I enjoy, we you know we talked about Miss Marvel. I had a good time with that, and, and I would say even to compare this show to Miss Marvel, Miss Marvel to me was more connected to the MCU, whether it be Damage Control or um, the Bangle and tying that to Captain Marvel. Um, so I think that show just had a little bit more connective tissue to the MCU where this show is, is hasn't had that much quite yet. Of course, we got Wong and Abomination and all that, but they haven't played into uh, you know those storylines that we hope to see with them. But come next week, Chris, when we get a, a Daredevil or the Hulk comes back from Sakaar with a son or a daughter, uh, I would imagine then, you know, people will be online and, and again, making their thoughts and theory videos and, and really getting into the show. And, and I'm long winded on this question for you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this show, Chris, when being honest with you, bro, would have been better if it was just binged, if they just dropped it all at once. Which I know Marvel doesn't yeah. want to do because it is a conversation yeah. piece. They want to have people coming back every week and obviously yeah, stay subscribed to yeah. Disney Plus. But this show, I think some people are actually probably waiting for this show to end to 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 watch Just its entire. It. And it might it actually might play better in its entirety because it is so you know so short. To, yeah, yeah. So right now you have Miss Marvel above it in your in your your opinion. Oh yeah, one. <laughs> One and not to make like this show is bad, but yeah, Miss Marvel to me was way better than this. Um, just from a, a story perspective, a narrative perspective, consistency, and also, man, I love that family, bro. I love Kamala's yeah. family and, and Kamala herself. Um, I would say I enjoy her character more than I do She Hulk right now. Um, but like you said earlier, man, the beauty of these shows and these characters is, um, you know, they come out of the gates, maybe a little stumbling, a little, little lackluster, but they have the potentiality to, to be some of our favorite characters. Uh, yeah. No one would have thought that them. in Iron Man two, that we'd be crying over Robert Downey Jr. And exactly. In a couple of movies. Exactly. A couple, man. A lot of movies. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you right now, man, I would have never thought in a million years that I would be in a, uh, my favorite MCU hero is Captain America. Like, and that I never was a Captain America fan prior to the films or even comic books. I was never a fan of Cap, but yeah. it just goes to show when you have, you spend more time, you get these great stories, you, you, you end up falling in love. And, and not that I don't love uh, She Hulk, but I, I like her and I'm hoping to love her in, in the future. I'm loving Tatiana. I think she's doing a great job, but I, I'm still uh, waiting for that moment. I'm like, yeah, that's She Hulk, man. I can't wait for her to, you know. Yeah, it's just cool to see it. Just think of I, I, to me. I just yeah, I, exactly. I just have fun thinking of like, damn, like we, we were like, damn, remember that whack ass show we didn't like that much, and then like now right. she's in the movie like kicking ass. I'm like, Ugh, exactly, damn. exactly, man. I'm I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see what they do with her. And, and um, one last thing before we head out, Chris, is I'm wondering if you were to pick a a project, wouldn't after the show, obviously, when do you think the next time? And of course, we have three more episodes to see where they end up. But when do you think is the next time we'll see She Hulk? If you were to put a uh, an idea, and, and I'll just l list off some projects that we have coming out next. Besides, uh, later this year is Black Panther. Top of the yeah. year is uh, Ant Man, Quantum Medium. Uh, and then you have Secret Invasion and Guardians of the Galaxy 3 and uh, Echo, uh, Daredevil. Any of those projects seem like a, a logical project? Do you think we'll see her again in the next? Logical, no, but I I, I just want to see a green and green Gamora She Hulk face off <laughs> funny moment there. Yeah, just cause. Hold on, let me actually pull up the little map that they have here, Marvel. Um, 
I think the next time we'll probably see her would be in a in a Daredevil show just to kind of return the favor almost. Uh, like he was on her show, he's gonna she's gonna be on his, and then you know lawyers hang out. You know it would make logical sense that that she would be uh, hanging out with another lawyer of his stature. But yeah, let me see. Quantumanium, no secret invasion. I mean, we are dealing with political stuff and governmental stuff. I don't know, if, but her tone, I don't know, if, based on the trailer. Uh, and by the way, Chris, have you seen the trailers yet for like Secret Invasion or what else no. did they put out? Um, not yet. Uh, was, oh, and uh, Werewolf by Night. <clears throat> yeah, no, not yet, not yet. Gotcha. Definitely check out Secret Invasion, bro. It was fire. But yeah, to, uh, yeah. I think the next time we'll probably see her, man, it, it, if not Echo, because it is a grounded level, street level character, then probably Daredevil. Um, yeah, Daredevil definitely makes sense. 2024, that's a little, two years. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. If it was a movie, it normally takes two to three years for them to make like a sequel for Doctor Strange. So I guess two years would make sense the next time we see him. Yeah, that's nuts. Ugh, these calendars are so like depression. Like, ugh. Bro, could you imagine being, uh, which I don't know if you've heard some of the stories of the VFX workers that are uh, like not fans of Marvel, all the, the crazy. They're looking like Jimmy Butler in the, in the bubble when he just leaned on the thing. <laughs> With the thing. Hey man, they get you know it's definitely a, a a great gig, but I know yeah they they feel like they're overworked. But we got a lot of stuff to look forward to in the future, uh, Chris, and and this is one of them. And I'm excited to see what episode seven, eight, and nine give us. I do hope it's a satisfied conclusion, my friend. But I always thank you, Chris, for joining us, uh, joining me on on this discussion. I am I'm hopeful that we can get the squad together. I know Amanda, she just got back in town. She had a, a screening today. So maybe yeah. next week, man, we can get the squad together. But in the meantime, bro, I can't thank you enough for uh for joining me on these Thursdays talking about this show and, and theorizing and having a good time, man. Uh, I really appreciate you, bro. No, 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 for sure. Yeah. Next Thursday I'm I'm all I'm good for that. So let's do it. Awesome, man. Well, hey, outro on this thing out, guys. I'm going to have Chris uh, tell you all where you can find him, what he's next on his channel. But before we do so, again, it's a reminder before you all leave, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. But Chris, tossing it to you, man. Where can they find you? What's the next awesome video, TikTok, um, Twitter, tweet that you got for the people, all that good yeah. stuff, man. Stage is yours. What's up? Chris Tate at Tate's Tate. Check my stuff out if you like random information about movies and tv shows um yeah next up i got this jeffrey dahmer documentary not the dahmer series but an actual documentary for netflix so i, I gotta check that out that might be coming next week for my channel but yeah if you guys are interested in uh, some information like we talked about for the woman king that video is up on my channel from this morning so give it a little spinny spin spin yes That's sir it. yes sir um yeah man i'm gonna check out that video actually when i get the when we head off here and to see your your full thoughts on the woman king because man that has been some interesting dialogue in the last week yeah, or two yeah, yeah. Right now. um yeah, but yeah man after. very excited to catch up with you next week bro as far as content here on the channel uh we'll be talking to lana later tonight um and of course house of the dragon which i think i've asked you before do you watch house of the dragon are you mm. game of Thrones? oh my mm. god never bro. yeah never man you are you? Do you ever plan out. on going to Westeros, which is the main place they go? Uh, do you ever plan to go on that journey? Go. Well, I go, I hope like, one day. Like I really I really should have did it in quarantine. Like really just got there, but I yeah. did not. That's when I started crazy. the channel. So I was like just doing all like random random, random YouTube shit. But I should have really been watching that in quarantine. One day, like, bro. You, you got to get on that, bro. I'm and not I'm not speaking crazy, man. It's it's one of my favorite shows of all time, bro. I think you would love yeah. it, Chris. It has a lot more yeah. drama than you would think. Like a no, lot I, I believe it. Like I'm, I'm not one yeah. of these. Like everyone likes it. I'm probably <laughs> whack. Like I, I'm sure it's good. Yeah. I just got to get there. You got to check it out, bro. You got to. Um, but yeah, we'll be talking House of Dragons on Sunday, uh, and of course all the other fun stuff we do here. But again, for myself and Chris, y'all, y'all have been awesome. Again, we appreciate your support. Uh, check out my man's channel, which will be in the description of this video. And uh, y'all be safe. And uh, listen, man, if someone like Jen is ever inviting you to a wedding, you got to say yes. She's yeah, you gotta pull up. She needs she needs backup out there. They're she fucking hazing her. Hazing her. I'm watching dishes, ironing clothes. It's crazy out here. But y'all have been awesome. We'll we uh we'll catch you all in the next video.